The Kentucky Derby has an international flavor this year, with the first horse to qualify for the Derby by the point system in Japan. Today was the coming out party for a master fencer who stepped out of the quarantine barn for the first time. As WHAS 11's Gary Rodemeyer reports about the questions surrounding this Japanese qualifier and whether he can compete with grade one horses at Churchill. It's beginning to look a lot like Derby. The railbirds can now be counted on multiple levels. There are new arrivals every day, including a horse of mystery. This is Kentucky's first look at Master Fencer, a long shot from a long way away. He qualified by finishing second in a stakes race at Nakayama, Japan. I was thinking like, okay, so even this year, I'm gonna miss the Kentucky Derby, but fortunately, other two, you know, top two horses, they declined the offer from the Churchill Downs, so, so I'm so lucky that, you know, I could be here. Lucky? Yes, but does he deserve to be here? Jockey Julian Leperu will be the first to know. Whether the Japanese racing translates to the Kentucky Derby. Well, we'll see, I guess, Saturday. <laughs> I'm not sure either. Uh, but I think, you know, for 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 the Kentucky Derby, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's nice to have international uh, people coming here. You know, the Japanese come here. It's, I think it's very nice. Um, and we'll see if he can compete on that half. And Master Fencer is here because it seems that Derby fever is something that cannot be contained by an ocean of differences. No matter the country, horse owners have the same dream. Yeah, actually, I'm, I was dreaming uh, to, uh, you know, uh, make my run, you know, uh, make, make, make my horses to run at the Kentucky Derby. So because of that, you know, I was being, uh, had been uh, uh, September sale for 15 years. After the post position draw, Master Fencer was the longest shot on the board, 50 to 1. But this wouldn't be the first long shot to show up with a dream, plus long odds, and walk away covered in roses. Gary Rodemeyer, WHAS 11 News at Derby 145.